In software engineering, a design pattern is a general reusable solution to a commonly occurring problem within a given context in software design. A design pattern is not a finished design that can be transformed directly into source or machine code. It is a description or template for how to solve a problem that can be used in many different situations. Patterns are formalized best practices that the programmer can use to solve common problems when designing an application or system. Object-oriented design patterns typically show relationships and interactions between classes or objects, without specifying the final application classes or objects that are involved. Patterns that imply object orientation or more generally mutable state, are not as applicable in functional programming languages. Design patterns reside in the domain of modules and interconnections. At a higher level there are architectural patterns that are larger in scope, usually describing an overall pattern followed by an entire system. There are many types of design patterns, for instance, Algorithm strategy patterns addressing concerns related to high-level strategies describing how to exploit application characteristics on a computing platform. Computational design patterns addressing concerns related to key computation identification. Execution patterns that address concerns related to supporting application execution, including strategies in executing streams of tasks and building blocks to support task synchronization. Implementation strategy patterns addressing concerns related to implementing source code to support, program organization, and, the common data structures specific to parallel programming. Structural design patterns addressing concerns related to high-level structures of applications being developed. History, patterns originated as an architectural concept by Christopher Alexander. In 1987, Kent Beck and Ward Cunningham began experimenting with the idea of applying patterns to programming and presented their results at the Uppsala conference that year. In the following years, Beck, Cunningham and others followed up on this work. Design patterns gained popularity in computer science after the book Design Patterns, Elements of Reusable Object-Oriented Software was published in 1994 by the so-called Gang of Four, which is frequently abbreviated as GoF. That same year, the first Pattern Languages of Programming conference was held and the following year, the Portland Pattern Repository was set up for documentation of design patterns. The scope of the term remains a matter of dispute. Notable books in the design pattern genre include, Gamma, Eric, Richard Helm, Ralph Johnson, and John Vlissides. Design Patterns, Elements of Reusable Object-Oriented Software Addison Wesley. ISBN A0 201 63361 2A. Bushman, Frank. Regin Munia. Hans Renert. Peter Sommelad. Pattern Oriented Software Architecture, Volume 1 A System of Patterns. John Wiley and Sons. ISBN A0-471-95869-1. Schmidt, Douglas C. Michael Stahl. Hans Renert. Frank Bushman. Pattern Oriented Software Architecture, Volume 2, Patterns for Concurrent and Networked Objects. John Wiley and Sons. ISBN A0-471-60695-2A. Fowler, Martin. Patterns of Enterprise Application Patterns of Enterprise Application Architecture. Addison Wesley. ISBN A 978-0-321-12742-6A, Ocht, Gregor. Bobby Wolf. Enterprise Integration Patterns, Designing, Building, and Deploying Messaging Solutions. Addison Wesley. ISBN A 0-321-20068-3A, Freeman, Eric T. Elizabeth Robson. Bert Bates. Kathy Sierra. Head First Design Patterns O'Reilly Media. ISBN A 0 596 4 Although design patterns have been applied practically for a long time, formalization of the concept of design patterns languished for several years. Practice Design patterns can speed up the development process by providing tested, proven development paradigms. 
Effective software design requires considering issues that may not become visible until later in the implementation. Reusing design patterns helps to prevent subtle issues that can cause major problems, and it also improves code readability for coders and architects who are familiar with the patterns. In order to achieve flexibility, design patterns usually introduce additional levels of indirection, which in some cases may complicate the resulting designs and hurt application performance. By definition, a pattern must be programmed anew into each application that uses it. Since some authors see this as a step backward from software reuse as provided by components, researchers have worked to turn patterns into components. Mayer and Arnout were able to provide full or partial componentization of two-thirds of the patterns they attempted. Software design techniques are difficult to apply to a broader range of problems. Design patterns provide general solutions, documented in a format that does not require specifics tied to a particular problem. Structure Design patterns are composed of several sections. Of particular interest are the structure, participants, and collaboration sections. These sections describe a design motif, a prototypical microarchitecture that developers copy and adapt to their particular designs to solve the recurrent problem described by the design pattern. A microarchitecture is a set of program constituents and their relationships. Developers use the design pattern by introducing in their designs this prototypical microarchitecture, which means that microarchitectures in their designs will have structure and organization similar to the chosen design motif. Domain specific patterns efforts have also been made to codify design patterns in particular domains, including use of existing design patterns as well as domain specific design patterns. Examples include user interface design patterns information visualization, secure design, secure usability, web design and business model design. The annual pattern languages of programming conference proceedings include many examples of domain-specific patterns. Classification and list Design patterns were originally grouped into the categories, creational patterns, structural patterns, and behavioral patterns, and described using the concepts of delegation, aggregation, and consultation. For further background on object-oriented design, see coupling and cohesion, inheritance, interface, and polymorphism. Another classification has also introduced the notion of architectural design pattern that may be applied at the architecture level of the software such as the Modella Euroviewer Eurocontroller pattern. Documentation The documentation for a design pattern describes the context in which the pattern is used, the forces within the context that the pattern seeks to resolve, and the suggested solution. There is no single, standard format for documenting design patterns. Rather, a variety of different formats have been used by different pattern authors. However, according to Martin Fowler, certain pattern forms have become more well known than others, and consequently become common starting points for new pattern writing efforts. One example of a commonly used documentation format is the one used by Eric Gamma, Richard Helm, Ralph Johnson and John Vlissides in their book Design Patterns. It contains the following sections, pattern name and classification, a descriptive and unique name that helps in identifying and referring to the pattern. Intent, a description of the goal behind the pattern and the reason for using it. Also known as, other names for the pattern. Motivation, a scenario consisting of a problem and a context in which this pattern can be used. Applicability, situations in which this pattern is usable. The context for the pattern. Structure, a graphical representation of the pattern. Class diagrams and interaction diagrams may be used for this purpose. Participants, a listing of the classes and objects used in the pattern and their roles in the design. Collaboration, a description of how classes and objects used in the pattern interact with each other. Consequences, a description of the results, side effects, and trade-offs caused by using the pattern. Implementation, a description of an implementation of the pattern. The solution part of the pattern. Sample code, an illustration of how the pattern can be used in a programming language. Known uses, examples of real usages of the pattern. Related patterns, other patterns that have some relationship with the pattern. 
discussion of the differences between the pattern and similar patterns. Criticism The concept of design patterns has been criticized in several ways. The design patterns may just be a sign of some missing features of a given programming language. Peter Norvik demonstrates that 16 out of the 23 patterns in the Design Patterns book are simplified or eliminated in Lisp or Dylan. Related observations were made by Hanneman and Kitch Sales who implemented several of the 23 design patterns using an aspect-oriented programming language and showed that code-level dependencies were removed from the implementations of 17 of the 23 design patterns and that aspect-oriented programming could simplify the implementations of design patterns. See also Paul Graham's essay Revenge of the Nerds. Moreover, inappropriate use of patterns may unnecessarily increase complexity. See also References Further reading